For Elon Musk's acquisition of Twitter to work out as he'd like, Musk must find some way to supersize the company. Its business is long undersized compared to the platform's presence in culture and politics. As a model, Musk has set at least some sights on the original so-called super app, WeChat, which is owned by China-based Tencent. In Musk's first town hall meeting with Twitter employees last week, he directly mentioned WeChat, indicating that building something like it would further his broader goal of nearly quintupling Twitter's user base to 1 billion people. There's no WeChat equivalent out of China, he said at the meeting. There's a real opportunity to create that. Much of what Musk says can seem outlandish. At the meeting, he also discussed the possibility of alien life, but his thinking about WeChat isn't, though it is not especially novel. WeChat's success has tantalized many a Silicon Valley mogul, Musk is only the latest. As a group, they've looked on with envy at WeChat's expansive business model, messaging, social media, payments, and lack of reliance on ad revenue, the fickle revenue stream fueling much of their businesses. Yet they have found it devilishly difficult to produce an American version of a super app. A super app is an app where you can accomplish a lot of different tasks, even ones that might not necessarily think are super related to each other, says Yu H. Shunjiao, a partner at GSR Ventures.